yeah here we go again this time in Waterford I noticed some little wooden planks or actually not wooden planks some some sea groins uh, next to Waterford next to Waterford oyster plant and I'm just going to travel there it will took me, take me a while maybe an hour an hour and a half uh, weather is a little bit overcast it's 8 35 in the morning I should be there maybe around half 10 11 depends if I take a break or not and just going to make a long exposure of that sea groins I found it very uh, pleasing to look at and uh, obviously we need to gear up uh, awkwardly enough I'll start with the audio again Tascam X8 with the bubble B uh, cover just for sound design and soundscape why not DJI Osmo that will give you point of view shots I rock a four stop sandy filter I found it best for uh, the dynamic range of this sensor I'm shooting in 10-bit uh, with DJI Osmo but obviously this won't improve the dynamic range it's just about colors uh, camera wise again Sony a7S3 with the 28 to 200 I think that covers a lot of things a lot of territory a lot of ground 28 is somehow obviously not that wide but when you are doing landscape and photography and especially uh, seascape I found that very rarely I can go that close to my subject so usually I'm 100 maybe 135 my exposures are long I'm not necessarily interested in a wide open lens obviously a wide open lens it will be and especially with a constant aperture it will be probably much better uh, optically but that's another story Lee filter uh, clean wipe <laughs> it's absolutely mandatory and and yeah those are my filters the big stopper and the little stopper the polarizing and the uh, anti grass and uh, that's about it I have the zoom f3 as well for uh, audio with another pair of microphones uh, stereo but I usually use my Tascam it's just faster and uh, yeah see you in a bit so literally I'm at the location in Waterford but the weather doesn't play nice man it started to rain it was we had like three weeks of complete sunshine absolutely no drop of rain now it started to rain I had to drive almost 200 kilometers I can see the groins from here luckily uh, around 12 o'clock apparently the rain will stop currently is 11 15 and yeah sky it is an overcast sky uh, the water level is fine uh, it will make a great long exposure photography without a question but the problem is that these droplets of water will sit on the on the filters and it just won't look good drone no you can't fly a drone now so it, it needs to completely stop uh, i don't know what will happen we will see how it goes but for the moment i just have to to uh, to wait yeah so this is it uh, I settled on a composition. I'm obviously, I'll probably be taking a 16 by 9 and then a square format as well. Actually, I'll go first for, I don't know why I feel like I should go for a square format. And as we stand at the moment, I just need a shutter speed 1 over 15. That's perfect. So basically, I'm at ISO 80 F11 115 which means that well it doesn't mean anything much at the moment because I need to add first uh, the polarizing filter yeah there's no sun there's no sun as we stand at the moment so <laughs> there's not too many reflections but I find that it gives a much better I don't know natural contrast and uh, I just want to 
to see how it will work with this perspective. You don't always need to use a polarizing filter because obviously it will darken the image, but it is what it is. Yeah, I have it here. And as expected, a little bit dirty. No one else here. No other photographer. Absolute solitude. Excellent for creation. I wonder what was here. Probably it was probably it was like an old pier or something similar to that. And nobody bothered to you know disassemble it completely, which is good. Camera is leveled. Just going to check now through the viewfinder is the polarization yeah it's definitely doing something yeah you see this is reflecting and i'm just going to to go for a strong effect just to to take out any reflection out of the water uh, for some reason and now if i'm checking the the histogram we can probably go back to f8 yeah f8 would be better I'll be focusing smack on those groins and changing it now to manual focus. We have the tools, so why not taming the sky a little bit? I don't need that much, but I think I'll just use a three stop. Three stops feels right for some reason. I'll use a three-stop anti-grad just to bring the highlights down, just to give a little bit of, of contrast more in the sky, which is, at the moment, the sky does do much, obviously, and like, like so. And the final piece, the big stopper, this is it, setting the camera to bulb and one minute exposure wow <laughs> wow perfecto oh my god that's it man i can i can go home i can go home <laughs> i can go home <laughs> good morning from an absolute horrible day i mean <laughs> it was absolutely raining and uh, I was not happy, the tide is low, I could not... I came to, to basically to photograph a pier in long exposure and it's, it's nothing to photograph because there is nothing to, to photograph sometimes. It's as simple as that. It was, the water was absolutely too, too low. I'm not sure what's happening, but uh, it basically sucked big time. So now I'm just here in, in, I have this in front of me, S sun started, the sky started to clear out, good thing we have some movement in the sky, so it's time for long exposure, baby, nothing else I can do, oh my god, everything <laughs> fell off, <laughs> uh, <laughs> everything is wet, as you can see this is not too much, I mean, it, <laughs> it looks okay, but actually it's raining quite heavily, <laughs> and uh, I had a very tight window to, to get this boulder and some sand patterns in front of it. Uh, so I'm just doing like a, I'm sandwiching the composition, hoping that I can have something interesting in. I also tried for that uh, boulder to pierce the horizon line. So I had the camera very low on the ground. And uh, apart from that, hope for the best. I don't know if I'll do it black and white or color. It doesn't really matter. Everything is, is soaked in water. Uh, very difficult conditions. I'll just move on a little bit and we may call it the quits for today. It's just not happening. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> there is a person riding a horse in the water. Oh, wow. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, that's why we never give up. And we have with us uh, action cams. Look over there. <laughs> Can you see it? No, but I'll come closer to you. 
This is a, like an oyster farm. Oh my God. And the water is just perfect. To that will make definitely, I'm, ju I'm just going there, okay? I, I mean, <laughs> I couldn't get, I couldn't get the pier, but at least we get this. It's raining, I know, but at least I'll get this oyster farm and uh, I'll be happy. I mean, what else can I do? Because obviously if the tide is high, there is no way you can take a picture of that unless you're from a boat or something. And now it's just perfect. So never give up. Always have your... <laughs> Even if it's raining, oh, it's kind of a high water here. Even if you have... Oh, what's happening in here? Oh, how, how high is that shit? Oh, it's quite high water. I'm down to my knees. I will just take it easy and we'll see what's in front of us. We can use... Yeah, ah, it's not that bad. And Wellingtons, baby. Wellingtons are as important as... Uh, polarizing filters and, and the grads. Like sure, here is not that much of fog, but because it's raining, you can still have these amazing layers that is happening. So now I'm going there to photograph that. Oh man. You can see it. You can see it is in front of you. You can see it. So I'm a happy pappy now. There are hundreds of thousands of them. And uh, definitely it's worth doing it. I ain't stopping now. No one is stopping me now. And my brothers and sisters, would you look at that? <laughs> this is heaven. <laughs> this is heaven, baby. This is heaven. This is what's happening here. Look at that. This is minimalism heaven. Minimalistic heaven. Minimalistic heaven, baby. So now the countdown has started. I had this composition in front of me. Very simple leading lines converging to the horizon. I'm still looking. So I, I hope I won't get engulfed by water <laughs> by fiddling with this. That will be a very dangerous thing to do. And uh, I'll just move probably a little bit forward as well and after that we call it the quits at least I got what I wanted to it's quite dangerous to be here now obviously it's a low tide so <laughs> it's working but I was purely luck the wind is very it's very windy I hope I don't get too much shake in the camera but apart from that we are happy the tide is low so luckily I can retreat if not I'll call a uh, a helicopter to rescue me <laughs> yeah I think 50 seconds will do now this one is much more sharper yeah it's much more sharper I just want to, to move a little bit forward and we'll be going yeah this is better and uh, away we go bulb f16 go one minute i have found now another composition this time uh, we have this uh, skinny uh, these skinny uh, oyster holders <laughs> i don't know how to call them but it just brings a little bit of difference in the in the composition again long exposure again tide is low i'm safe oh my god because you want to be stranded here though and this is an amazing rainbow this is an amazing rainbow under this uh, oyster farm oh my god i mean this is how can you how can you ask for more man how can you ask for more i cannot, cannot believe this one I'm just going to, to get that rainbow that you see it behind me. Hopefully I can get a rainbow along with these oyster farms. I don't think so. Well, forget about the rainbow. We are doing black and white photography. So <laughs> no rainbow this time. And we just go for one minute exposure and that's it. Uh, it will be beautiful because the clouds are moving so fast. Everything is, is so dramatic. Can you see me here? No. 
and uh, oh, did I stop this here? So I just want to say that now I have changed the composition a little bit. I'm just doing. Uh, I'm just trying to go, try to get this dramatic sky. I think it failed because the the tripod moved. We'll try to do this again. Let me see. How much is it moved? Hey, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We're just going to try again. I'm just doing the same composition. Uh, two thirds sky, one third uh, sea farm, and uh, I think I'm happy. <laughs> oh, there's so much water on the lens. Excuse that. Excuse my enthusiasm, but if you lose the enthusiasm, you lose the photography. And uh, I have never been more happier than when I find a good composition. Camera, lenses, everything else in between won't help you. What helps you is when you have a strong composition and great light, this is where photography is. It doesn't matter if it's film or digital, it's just, uh, it's just the way it is. And a uh, few more seconds, hopefully. I didn't count. I'm just going by gut feel and uh, probably that's enough. Yeah, my gut feel was fine. That was 51 seconds. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So that was the adventure for, for today. Sorry, I have to wipe the lens. <laughs> uh, raining, disappointment, but also I think I nailed it with this oyster farm. Uh, I'll be saying now goodbye to you from this lunar some sort it's kind of a lunar is it lunar landscape or moonscape and uh, all the best see you next time